Hello everyone, I'm Trustic44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights. Last episode, we made our way towards, through the Coldwood, into this dungeon. We happen to have our way in, and in here we should be able to find the snow globe that, uh, that what's your name I is have looking failed for. In the task. Lillian Cambridge. That door is locked, so we can't go through there. Let's try going to the I right. I shall do as you ask. It is Fortunately, done. we could bash that, and we have air oh, elementals oh, here. And they can knock me down. I don't care for that very much. Now please kill them. Taste my savage fury! Unfortunately, they die really easily. Oh, and a huge fire elemental. There we go. Now, what kind of remains are dropped here? Copper ring, a couple gold coins, and some remains here. Cure moderate wounds, all things. Alright, let's take a look. Let's go to the right here. See what we can find. Shadow Fiends, Graves. How did my strength get lowered? Someone who's hitting me is lowering my strength. I can't Taste my I am displeased by that. See, this is a library, and we have another huge fire elemental here. The large amount of lowered strength is bothering me, and I'm pretty sure Dalen was affected by it too. Yep. So instead of bothering with scrolls and the like... Please kill it. Thank you. So instead of bothering with scrolls and the like, I'm just going to activate the Stone of Recall and do a healing in order to get it back. <sighs> just gotta crawl my way over to Nurik, who's in here because of the trial from now on. Yes, this isn't bothersome at all. Forgive me if I seem distracted. The outcome of Rolgan's trial has created as many problems as it seems to have solved. What do you mean about the outcome of Rolgan's trial? I am grateful for your assistance during Rolgan's trial. This is not a problem you can readily fix. Even though Rolgan was acquitted, there are still those among the Lord's Alliance soldiers who feel he is guilty of murder and deserving of death. Tensions between the soldiers and the Uthgard have only increased since a verdict was issued. I only hope things don't escalate further. Alright, now please heal me. Thank you. Bear this much weight and keep now, back to where we were. Four hundred gold. Okay, things have gotten even more expensive. Alright, let's investigate these chests. Okay. It is done. There's another chest here we can bash Shall open. Do as you All ask. that one just loads up the remains. Thank it is you. Done. Remove blindness and deafness, and some alexandrite. Here we have... Ooh! Greater Restoration, Resurrection, and Charm Monster, which doesn't matter much. Another chest here. Cure Critical. And here we have the Nature of Water Summoning. Hmm. This note appears to have been left by Cyril, the mage who created this dungeon. As I suspected, there are a number of natural pools in these underground chambers that can be easily converted into summoning cisterns. Once I have completed construction of my laboratory, summoning a powerful elemental to do my bidding should simply require the addition of a slotty tongue to the pool, along with the casting of Melf's acid arrow. 
we'll need to find our way to do that. I'm going to start by just looking around the entire outside. And here we have more air now elements. See what I found. Ah, dang it. Knocked down. God dang it! This displeases me greatly. There appears to be another fire summoning chamber over there. With another fire elemental coming in. Please get up! I have a feeling those guys are going to keep coming until we do something about that summoning chamber. So, let's go over there and do just that. I have a feeling if we destroy... wait, maybe not. Well, there's a chest here. Let's take a look at it. Ow. Oh, no, there's the fire elemental again. If we destroy the pedestals... Maybe that'll work. The rage of the red tiger unleash. Let's try that. Destroy the pedestals. If we do that, maybe it'll stop the summonings. And that seemed to work. And Dalen died. Come on, kill him. Almost. There we go. Okay. Now we know how to stop summoning these fire elementals from constantly being summoned. Alright. Once again, Stone of Recall. We need to get back Dalen. There you are. I found... Now let's go speak to Nurik. Because I can get healed. And now, once again, 400 gold in order to get out of here. We'll make it back once we sell some of this loot, but still. Okay. Now let's open up these chests. Ow, that was ask. fairly painful. It is done. A topaz and a scarab of plus one protection. Improved saving throws. Don't really need that. In this chest... Potion of Clarity. Yeah, we did need one. Alright, let's head to the north now. More air elementals. Make this fight count. It will pass. Nice job to oh, or not. For the oath guard. Right, finish him off, please. And there go all those air elementals. A floor scar here. And some coins there. Looks like we have another library up here. With a bunch now of imps. Where's one more over here? Get over here. Thank you. Ah, it was a closet. Alright. Doesn't look like there's much else in here. Oh, wait! Okay, we have the nature of water summoning already. What's this diary page? 
This appears to be an old and crumbling page from a diary. The Mountain Witch is no more. I have defeated the Hag Nabacha in a summoning duel. I began with a standard opening, the summoning of a feral cat. She countered with a rather predictable conjuration of a large hunting dog to best my feline. I then escalated the proceedings by summoning a great bear to devour her canine champion. Nabacha was not expecting such a bold move. Caught off guard, she summoned a great red dragon, a classic case of panicked overreaction. Needless to say, the worm was enraged at her foolishness and promptly devoured her. Perhaps I should commemorate this victory in a song, something that encompasses the essence of all the combatants in the duel. Feline, casine, canine, ursine, and draconic. I feel like that's going to be part of some sort of uh, puzzle. Potion of bless. You know what? Drink it. Why not? This will help us out with our fightings. More LR elementals. Damn it, knock down. Oh, goody! Here comes the huge fire elemental to attack us. This is exactly what I wanted. Well, I'm knocked down. Now see what a true warrior looks like. Hey, we didn't get knocked down that time. And there we go. Now, quickly, before they have a chance to recover, bash down these pedestals. I do not want to deal with another one of them. Ah, oh, crap! He spawned! There we go. And there goes the Brazier. Alright, that's all dealt with. And there's some remains here. And with that, we've cleared the entire outer area. We can't rest, though. I think maybe I'll clear out this area first, and then move around. Alright, let's start by entering here, clear out what we can find. More Shadow Fiends. Strength lowered, god dang it. It's these things! These things, when they hit us, our strength gets lowered. That is quite annoying. Adventures, of course. Topaz and a slot tongue. No, I'll hold on to it. We're gonna need it. Nothing in there. Some coins. I'm hoping that if we rest, we'll get what we need. Rakshasa's eye. I guess hold on to that. Sapphire. A door here that can be opened. Alright, open it. Ow! This room looks like a functional wizard's lab. Okay. Ring of Melf. A hexagon. Oh, now that's a crystal. Uh, allows me to cast Melf's Acid Arrow. That's actually what's needed for the water summoning that was mentioned. It's probably required for that pool. No idea what the altar is for. Ooh, laboratory notes. Here we are. These appear to be the lab notes of Cyril, the mage who created this laboratory. I believe I have at last unlocked the keys to creating the Staff of Command. As I suspected all along, the, cre the key ingredients were a Rakshasa Eye and a Quartz Crystal. However, determining the proper spell to cast on the components once they were combined in my laboratory was not as simple as I fir had at first assumed. My error came in looking for an obscure solution, and missing the stunningly obvious answer right in front of me. Of course a necessary spell to create a Staff of Command is dominance. I must remember this valuable lesson. The most obvious solution is, ob is often the right one, even when dealing with the arcane. 
Sadly, we cannot cast that spell, so we are not going to be able to create the Staff of Dominance. Okay, hopefully when I finish resting, I'll get back my strength. Let's find out. Survey says... Yes! Okay, we're good. Bloody shades. And we have what we need here to do that water summoning thing, which is important. Oh, hello! You came out of nowhere. Knockdown helped out. Thank you. Excellent. That was not a problem. And throw that Rakshasa eye in there. We don't need it, but hey, it's a rare material that is barely ever found. Alright. Next stop, we'll go in through the library and see what we can find in this southwest corner. Looks like a prison just from glancing at it. Alright, in we shall go. Ow. It definitely does look like a prison. Ow. Cannot rest when there are enemies nearby. Probably in these two rooms. Alright, let's open them and clear them out. Eh, nothing in here. Must be the other room. No, nothing in here either. Okay, it must be in over in this area. But there also appears to be someone here. This is probably that person with the snow globe. Come on. And there we go. Hello. Ah, you there. Yes, you. Would you be so kind as to help me out? I seem to find myself a prisoner here. It's a rather delicate situation from which I cannot extract myself. Who are you? My name is Nax, a wizard whose grasp has somewhat exceeded his reach. I came to explore this ancient laboratory's long-lost secrets. Like you, I passed through the magical portal in the Coldwood. It's the only possible way to enter this nefarious dungeon. However, I was caught unaware by a rather powerful protective ward placed upon the portal itself. With a brilliant flash of light, the ward stripped me of my most powerful magic items, teleported them somewhere within this dungeon, and imprisoned me here in this inescapable cell. It is your good fortune that I arrived here first and not you. Had you crossed through the portal before me, it would have been you who triggered the magical ward, and I would be the one on the other side of this wall. But since our positions are not reversed, it is I who must appeal to you for help. So if you free me from the, this prison, I will reward you with gold or magic items. I have a certain snow globe of immense power you might find interesting. Snow globe. An extremely powerful magic item. I acquired it from a lovely young archaeologist named Lillian. I won't bore you with the tawdry details. I haven't been able to ascertain quite how to unlock the powers of the snow globe, but I'm sure Lillian would gladly explain it to you. She'll probably give you a nice reward, too. I imagine she's most eager to reclaim her little prize. She's probably in the tavern at Bay Run as well, sulking over the disappearance even now. Let me see the snow globe before I let you out. I'm afraid that is impossible. The spell that imprisoned me here stripped me of all my magic items. But if you free me, I'm certain the spell will be broken and the globe will be once more be in my possession, and then I will give it to you for rescuing me. Never fear, you will receive your reward once I have been freed. How do I get you out of there? Well, I'm not certain, but I do have a theory. Cyril Lyricus, the long-dead owner of this dungeon, was well known for his skill in summoning various creatures. He was particularly fond of water elementals, or so the legends say. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a magical summoning pool or two in this dungeon. You could use the pool to enact a summoning ritual and call a water elemental. I think it might have the power to release me. Either that or it would attack you on sight, I'm not really sure. How do I perform the summoning ritual? All you have to do is find the proper reagent and place it into the summoning pool, then cast the appropriate spell on the pool. The only problem is I don't know what reagents or which spell Cyril might have used. 
But you could probably find that information in the library. Cyril liked to keep detailed records of everything he did. Where could I... Excuse me, find the library? I'd tell you if I could, but as you know, I never had an opportunity to explore this place. Just look for a room with a lot of books and you'll know you've found it. What if the summoning requires a spell I can't cast? Well, I doubt Cyril would have wanted to prepare a spell every time he needed to perform the ritual. Whatever spell it requires, I bet there's a ring or two in this dungeon that can cast a spell. Figure out the reagent and the spell, and then all you have to do is find the ring. Put the reagent in the pool and zap it with the ring, and presto, one water elemental. Don't worry, Nax, I'll get you out of the here. Your determination is reassuring, friend. I wish you all the luck in the world. Hello. Uh, by the way, tell me what you know about this dungeon. The dungeon was once the laboratory of Cyril Lyricus, a mage well known for his abilities in summoning magical creatures. His library and notes were on various summoning rituals. Oh, it's basically the same thing. I'll get you out of there. Okay, that's two areas cleared out. Let's take a look at the southwest corner. See what's in here. Looks like a large room, or at least decent sized. For the oath guard! Shadow fiends and something cool. Yep, strength lowered again. God dang it. I am displeased by the lowering of strength from these things. They really dis I really disappear. We found the summoning pool that will probably allow us to get out of here. Great of Blades, more of Light and Darkness. Can we rest here? We gotta move out of the way in order to rest and get rid of the friggin' strength decrease! Come on, how far do we need to walk to get out of range of any hostile creatures? Thank you. Ugh. Friggin' strength decrease. Come on, come on. Before we do the summoning, I'm going to keep looking around just to make sure there's not something else I'm going to need to do that we don't have the information for. Alright, got a chest here, with a silver necklace, a bookshelf here, the sword coast, another chest here, bash it open. It is done. And we have 68 gold coins, and one more chest over here. Make Make this fight count. Blood. It will be your last! Come on. There we go. And what is in this chest? More coins. Alright, like I said, we'll save the summoning pool for after we finish exploring through this dungeon. I mean, why not? Maybe we'll find something else that'll help us or tell us information we need. Alright, let's take a look in here. An Umber Hulk and an Intellect Devourer! Kill the Umber Hulks first. Oh, they have a mind affecting gaze to them. Alright, now I saw over here. Oh no, it. Oh, there we go. Huh. You know, I still remember how annoying it was in that first time we fought an Intellect Devourer, and now it died in... very, very quickly and easily. Huh. Well, what do you know? Alright, one more area up here, and that's in the northwest corner. Let's go take a look here. Oh, there's some remains here? From what? I don't know what, but it... just left a coin. All right, what have we got in here? The rage of the red tiger! More of these freaking shadow fiends. Please 
Please kill anything you can, Dalen. We have a bunch of gongs. Protecting something. There we go. That's all them dealt with. Can we rest here? Please tell me we can. Nope, there's enemies nearby. God dang it. It's probably in that one area we haven't looked at yet. There we go. Now we can rest here. Come on, come on. Ah! I there we go. This much weight and now, what's in this chest? We got two chests here we can investigate. Bunch of coins, and in here... A trap, but thankfully we can deal with it easily enough. Some coins and alexandrite. Yes. Okay, no, Is I didn't want to speak with you. All right, let's see here. We have a bear. A bear growls. A dragon roars. A dog barks. Ah, right. That note that was mentioned. I think it was cat, dog, bear, and dragon. And that opens up this, which has a huge fire elemental. I am not last. surprised. You will never take the snow globe, insignificant mortal. The snow globe is here? Well, that was unexpected. I didn't realize the snow globe would be here. And we have a helmet here. Shujenka helm. The, Sh the Shukenja are a monastic order known for their subtlety and magic power. Though rank and file brothers fight with a staff and wear no armor, elite members of the order are known to wear Shujenka helms into battle to augment their sorceress abilities. Over the years, these monks have spread through the realms, and today many of their helms can be found in the hands of the order's allies and enemies. Not useful for us because we're not a sorcerer, but hey, what do you know? Looks like we got a whole load of loot around here, and it sounded like the snow globe is here. Which is very interesting. Alright, bash us up. Okay, that was fairly damaging. And here we have an archer's belt. Not really useful to us. We can sell it. I think it's just like piercing resistance. I shall do as you ask. Bash it open. It is done. And here we have a topaz. And in here, in this chest, we have what? Gold piece and dispel magic. And this pedestal contains. Snow globe. Roughly the size of an ogre's fist, this crystal sphere is far heavier than it would appear. Inside the globe can be seen an exquisitely detailed miniature realm, right down to the tiny figures of dwarves and dryads populating the landscape. From time to time, the position of these figures seems to shift and change, as if they were somehow moving too slowly for the naked eye to see. When flipped or turned, drifting flakes of snow swirl and settle over the figures within the globe, covering the tiny world in a blanket of purest white. There's also a strong aura of magic surrounding the snow globe, and you sense that despite its fragile appearance, it would be virtually impossible to destroy the glass casing. Well, we found it. But we're not going to leave Nax in there, so let's run down, do the summoning, and get him out. This is about where I'd normally end the episode, but I think maybe we can just go a little longer as we save him. Why not? Bit of a run, but we can get there. I'm going to save before I do the summoning, though, just in case, to be safe. 
I'm sure the water elemental will probably have much to say about all this. Just gotta get in here. Alright. Alright then, let's see here. Summoning pool. Put this in there. And use this. Oh, we need to equip it first. Alright, simple enough. That appears to have been the summoning. Who calls to me, and for what purpose am I, am I summoned to this plane? Ah, so another water elemental is summoned forth to this plane. Tell me, human creature, what would you have me do? Who are you? What are you? I am, obviously, a water elemental. You performed the ritual and summoned me. Now I am bound to obey one command. You might wish me to perform some random task, or perhaps you wish me to gift you with a boon. Simply command me. I'm looking to free the enchanter, Nax. Very well. If you wish it, the de this deed is performed, and then I will absolve myself of your control. Yes, go free Nax. Very well. I do as you wish. And there is Nax! Hello. Free! I'm free! I suppose I have you to thank for this, so please accept my humble gratitude before I take my leave. What about my reward? Ah, yes, the gold and the powerful magic items. The truth is, I don't have any gold on me. See for yourself, my pockets are empty. As for the snow globe and my other magic items... Well, I had them when I came in, but the ward's magic stripped them from me when I was imprisoned. I thought they would reappear when I was released, but obviously I was mistaken. Still, I think I know how you can get the snow globe back, at least. I already got the snow globe. You better come up with another reward. Well, this is most awkward, isn't it? You have no need of my information, and I have nothing else to offer. Perhaps you should just consider this a good deed in part ways. Fine. I guess I don't need a reward. Get out of here. Then I shall go at once from this accursed place. The last thing I need to do is stumble into another one of Cyril's traps. Indeed. Farewell, Nax. This ring of Melf. Actually, we can use it more than... We can use it once a day. I'll hold on to it. In one of these bags. There. I'll put it in here. If we ever need it, we have it. Okay. And with that, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, we will return to town. And, uh... Nax, just open the door. Oh, it's locked. It there. Is done. Goodbye, Nax. Next episode, we will return to town and hand in the uh, few things we happen to have to turn in. That'll be in the next episode. So until then, I'm Chester44. That is Ken Daniels and Dalen Red Tiger. This has been a Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights. And I shall see you all next time.